welcome back to Clearview Driving. Today I'm doing another driving lesson for Jack. In today's lesson we're going to be working on crossroads, sometimes approaching from the main road, sometimes approaching from the side road. So we did a little bit of practice of this um, last lesson. Yeah. Unfortunately we weren't able to record that but um, we're just going to go over some of this stuff because there's a few bits where I was still talking you through it. Mm -hmm. So when it comes to crossroads, firstly looking at the road markings to establish whether you're on the main road or on the side. So the giveaway line and the hazard line which we talked about and then if you're on the side road we did this last time where when you approach from the side road and you get to the end of the road but there are parked cars everywhere mm -hmm. so your view essentially is blocked behind the parked car so you can only see about that much and then the, the closer you get to the end the further you get out of that point the, the wider you can see and we also talked about using the reflections of the side of cars which mm -hmm. was which you found that quite helpful Very actually so we're going to try and do that, so we're going to use clutch control to slowly creep out until you can see the whole road. Um, also, going from the main road, when we turn into a side road, and there might be sometimes parked cars right yeah. in the entrance, mm. so we don't turn into that road in second gear now. Yeah. So we'll approach him first. first. Okay. Sure. Um, thinking, is there anything else? Is there anything missing? No, I think that's... Oh, yeah. Um, we dealt with some, some of those ramps on the... The main roads, you know, when you have to go over, oh, yeah, go across yeah, the main yeah, road, and there yeah. was that ramp, and then you have to cross the main road yeah, and the ramp again. Like those. Yeah, so we've got to be careful where we stop on those, um, and also looking out for pedestrians when we're on the high street. Mm -hmm. So later on, we're going to be working on pedestrian crossings, but for now, we're just going to try some of these crossroads to begin. Okay. Perfect. So when you're ready, let's get started. So for now I want you to show me how you'd move off. Again, mm -hmm. if you do forget anything I'll remind you, but for now I want you to try and do as much as you can on your own. Perfect. Okay. Good, steady control on your feet. Well done. We're going straight. We're just following the road round. You can see he's just turned on. It's okay, he can see you move into this park, don't worry. So we're going to turn left just in here after these two cars. So we're already in first gear, which is great. So we're going straight up to the tricky junction from last lesson. Where are those parked right there? It's not enough. There's something in there. Oh wait. There. Yeah, when you... Oops, man. Well done. Yeah, when you first start the car and start driving, it always tells you if the back passengers are wearing their seatbelts or not. Oh, right. Yeah, if you want to get rid of that message quicker, you just press OK. That's it. Otherwise, it goes away. Okay. So, like this road here, we couldn't yeah. really see it. So, if somebody yeah, was trying that's to quite a tricky one. come out, and also, it. there's loads of cars on this road. Yeah. Okay, so. Uh, it's the car's worst nightmare, right? An electric scooter. I don't like them. All right, now brake clutch. Once the lady comes off, we're going to go up onto that ramp. We're going to go ahead. So keep the clutch down. Go across to the left a little bit. Stop there, stop there, stop there. Good. Now get ready. You first gear. Stop the car there. You need to change gear. Good. So the right's clear. Slowly come out after this van. But when you go forward, don't go straight. Go around. Good. Looking right. Keep looking around. Hold well on. Take your foot back completely, just sort of toes off and then toes on again. So that position. Alright, so looking for your hazards, you've got a tyre sticking out. Yeah. What else is going on? These guys are quite nicely packed in here, so someone might. Oh, yeah, I failed my theory, by the way. Oh no! Yeah. What happened? Well, do you know why? Because I, I didn't have no clue what to do with the hazard perception. We talked about that. I know, but the, but the like, instructions threw me off completely because it's like there's only going to be one hazard. Yeah. But then, so you only click once. No. But then I was, but I was clicking loads anyway. Yeah. But it was like if there's a hazard what is, what, that hasn't developed yet, yeah. it was like you shouldn't bother clicking. I'm pretty sure that's what it said in the instructions. Okay. <laughs> okay. So I was, I was a bit thrown off by that instruction. What did you get in terms of the mark from 75? turn left in here so check mirrors and signal now we have more priority he will wait for you yeah. lean forward look in well done 
Good, so he waited for us to turn in first. Yeah, very nice of him. Yeah, continue along And we, we did that in second gear, guys. Yeah, so that was good because the entrance was quite bad, or quite yeah. wide on that one. Okay, now we're going to do another turn in here. This one's a lot tighter, so we will use first gear on this one. So use top, left mirror again. Which turns right? That turn right there. Left. Signal left. So you can see already that's a really small entrance now. Brake clutch, just a little bit of brake so he can see you're slowing down. And then turning in here. Nice, good. Barrett Waitrose is parking, yeah? yeah? Check that mirror on the right and then head back out. Brilliant. So we're just going to revisit some of the junctions from last lesson because I feel like there were loads of tricky turns that you did last time and they were yeah. quite nice. Okay, so when it comes to the hazard perception, you can click when you see a hazard, mm -hmm. but you're only being marked when that hazard actually develops. Oh, right. So, for example, so let's say... you should click. You can click, but you're not, not necessarily being marked for it at but the time. But if there's only one hazard, then... Yeah, but you then you don't know once? what the hazard is. So you don't know what hazard's going to actually develop. Like, for example, this guy's parked up with his lights on, that boot's open. Right. Now, any of these two could... The man might step out here, that guy could have opened the door, but it's when that hazard starts to now develop. That's but I'm pretty marked. sure I did. So that's how. Okay, we're gonna go right. Yeah, go but right I'm in here. One second. Here is braking. Should we use first or second? Okay. Uh, second's fine. Second's all right. Just take it slightly wider. Yeah, last time we had lots of parked cars here. Yeah. All right. So what do we do on this one? Stop. Okay. So we have to kind of be in the middle, don't we? Are we going straight? Right. Yeah. Think about how you stop. Think about how you stop. Think about it. Well done. Anything else? You were just about to. Good. All right. Looking carefully. So we can see quite well behind the bike, sort of sharp yeah, over here, but you can't right. see on this side. Good, he's going the other way. Now, right foot across. No, 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 don't do that. Get the clutch back down. To move, it's accelerate biting point, not just the clutch. Well done, well done. Good. We're gonna stop in just a minute and we'll have a little chat about your um, hazard, hazard perception, perception. question. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna pull into that big space up there, just after the blue car, there's a big space coming up. Yeah. So what should we do to park up? Good, but mirrors and then signal. Yeah, and then roll into that space, the so braking and get the clutch fully down, but don't brake heavy. Use the car in front as your guide, move away and just get yourself roughly in a straight line. That's great there, thank you. Yeah, hold the brake. Now hand brakes first and then neutral and then switch off the engine. Okay, well, it's, it's a shame about the theory test. I know, I'm really annoyed. Okay, but let's talk about... Um, yeah, so... You know, as we're driving on these roads, hmm. you have lots of hazards, like someone might be parked up with their lights on, Yeah. a lorry parked up on the side, a cyclist that's on the pavement, a pedestrian that's standing on the side of the road. These are all potential hazards. Yeah. But you don't need to slow down for them. You don't need to react to them right away, do you? No. But now you have to look for that clue for when that potential hazard has now started to develop. So for example, that pedestrian that's standing on the side of the road, when they start to look into the road or they step closer to the edge of the pavement, that's when that's now starting to develop, isn't it? Sure. So that's when you would click. So you So there's the a time frame. Theoretically you only have to click once. Uh, yes. So you could get it perfect and get and when it's out of five stars, yeah. what does that mean? Like, so, depending on how quickly you react. So let's say right. we're driving along and you have a cyclist on the side of you. Yeah. That cyclist isn't an issue. But now when that cyclist looks over his shoulder as you're going sure. forward, he's now thinking of moving sure. in front of you. But now as he starts to move in front of you, it's five, four, three, two, one, yeah. zero. Depending on how you react. Sure. So that's the point that you're being marked on. So there's a little window where you should be clicking. Okay, I understand. Yeah. So you should click every time you see a you hazard. Can, you can click when you see a hazard, but it's more so when it starts to react. So I would usually click when you see the hazard, but click again when you when think you it's starting to develop. develop. Okay. So most people, um, from past experience, when they see a hazard, the reason why they fail is because you've clicked too early. Yeah, I think that's what I was doing. Yeah. But yeah, because I was seeing the hazard. Yeah. And so I clicked it straight away and I was like, okay, I've So done in the it. average clip, how many times would you say you were clicking? Like four okay. times. Yeah, it depends. Uh, like if you're on a busy high street, there's more going on. So you might click seven to 10 times. Mm. Whereas if you're driving down a country lane in one random but tractor. But only the one of those clicks counts. Yeah. Yeah, okay, fine. 
Yeah. I get it. <laughs> okay, it's like when we're driving, there's so much going on, you've got to keep scanning, scanning. But it's only that one person. Because I kind of had that idea, for. and then the video, the like introductory video you watched before it, just yeah. threw me off completely. I'm surprised you, you didn't sort of mention this beforehand, because I think we had a chat about it. Yeah, no, I completely well. forgot. Can't lie. Yeah. Um, it's okay. Yeah. Something for you to now think about. Yeah. Yeah. And also, I did, yeah, yeah. It's fun. Okay, so with the junction so far, how have they been? The smaller one where we yeah, had to turn not, into first? Not too bad. It was the only the, the only one was that first one we did, you know, right the right coming out of my house, the really tight bend and then the really narrow road. Yeah, yeah. That was quite hard. So we'll try that again a bit later. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so um, most of them have been okay so far? Yeah. Okay, just when you get to any stop, remember to change gears. That's the next step for you. Sure. And once you've changed gears, with your feet position, don't keep your foot on the brake. As soon as you want to go, it's accelerate, bite and point in that order. Balance. And so if I know I'm not going to stop, I don't have to change gears on a turn if I know that the cars are... Not necessarily there's... stop. Sometimes you might slow right down and you might need first gear because you've mm. slowed down a lot. So it doesn't just mean if you stop, you use first gear. Just when you slow down, the entrance is narrow. But as in for that one, yeah, right there, you know, yeah. when I had to change the first. It's because we we slowed We've, right down. Yeah, we had sure. stopped. Okay, so, yeah. right, fine. Okay, yeah. should we go again? Yeah. Okay, so clutch in, start the car. Okay, so we're gonna move off and turn right into that road just there. Very nice move off there. Clutch control is really nice. Let's still going right just in here. Think about your position. Where should it be? Good. Is he going to come out? Yep. Good. Take it slightly wider just so that we're not in the middle. Good. Okay, nice. Slowly, wait, 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 move your right foot. Now keep in creep and keep looking both ways as you're doing this. Really slow feet. For this, do I need the accelerator? Start turning, go slowly. Yeah, we always want to use the accelerator lightly, but it's the clutch that we're really focused on there. Right, sure. Good. So like now, that tire is sticking out, so potential hazard. Mm -hmm. So if that car starts moving, that's when it starts to develop. All right, we're gonna go left up here. What do we talk about? Thank you. <laughs> but before. Yeah, yeah, it's good. Fine. I always clutch first. Because you're so slow right now, it's not an issue. Yeah. If we were at higher speeds, then it would be. Because we would already reach the distance that you should be using the clutch, anyways. Sure. Now, really slowly. Is he coming in here? Yeah. Yes, yeah, so we slowly start moving out. Yeah. Go on slowly. Really slow feet. Fast hands. Slower feet, slower feet. Turn your hands quicker. Turn your hands quicker. Good, slow feet though. Well done. Is that okay? okay? The reason that guy was sort of inviting you out is because the turn's easier for him if yeah, you're not if there. I'm not there. But, yeah, we have to take it slowly, anyways. There you go, we got our classic road work still in the road, so it's that's London. potential for now. Potential for now. And then it develops when we get to here if someone turns up, so we sure. have to stop. Would that be a serious hazard no? It's just if things change right now, if you're just on your own and going around this, it's okay. Yeah. Yeah. So 
to that lady's a potential hazard. She stopped. If she'd carried on. Yeah. yeah, if she'd carried on, that's when you'd need to click. Okay? Sure. Good. But would I click maybe just as soon as I saw yeah, her? Yeah, definitely I would because yeah. then you don't know if she's about yeah. to step straight out because she's already in the road. But you wouldn't, if she did turn into a developing hazard, you'd have to click again. To yeah, get them that's it. Okay, so sure. I would normally click when I see the hazard, but and click click again yeah. when it develops. Okay. So either one of those two might be within your um, frame. Sure. Good, turn a bit more, good. As well as watching them, we want to see this side so yeah. we're not too close. Now here, well, I want you to turn right this time. So, okay. thank you, that mirrors first, good. Now go all the way, get yourself quickly up to the end. Now use the brake first, good, and brilliant. Really nice, stop, wait, wait, look carefully, look carefully. Yep, turning, hold on. Just the tree on the left there, it blocks a lot of the pavement, so be careful. Yeah. Go quicker now. Okay, keep an eye on the guy behind you because the road ahead is clear, he might try and overtake. What colour are the lights ahead? Red. What should we start doing from here? Stepping off the accelerator for now. Good. So we don't need the clutch. Oh, there you go. Lights are green. This is my luck. Yeah, that's nice. Thank God I didn't have to stop there. I didn't like stopping. <laughs> stopping and starting is the hard part, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, you've got the hang of that, I think. Yeah. No, that wasn't too bad. Mm. Just doing like the Maserati right behind me when the rev is ending. Nah, he's alright, he's at a good distance. I know it looks like he's really close there. Yeah. He's not he's not too close. Alright, so hazards. What do you see? The cyclist. Okay, ahead of the cyclist? Uh park car. car. Now what's the cyclist gonna do at this point? Swing out. So that's the bit where you start to click because you know yeah. he's gonna move out. So that's when he's actually affecting us. Sure. Okay. <laughs> And if that cyclist were to look over their shoulder, that's that's the indicator of when you first get your five mark of a hazard. Right. Okay, so looking ahead, there's a lot more going on today. So with this cyclist, we don't want to close into this gap in front of us. Uh -huh. Always maintain like a two car length gap from them, especially at this speed. Sure. So we're going to go right. So mirrors. See the man standing in the road up there as well. Signal right. Position right. You can get around, but be wary of this guy in case he opens a door and the car in front. Oh, watch the kid, watch the kid, brake and first gear. Yeah, really slowly watch these lot, but then continue slowly watching the right and left. Slowly go forward, really nice control with your feet. Can we go? Yeah. Yeah, bit quicker though, go forward, go around the circle. Okay, what do we have here? Another roundabout. Good, we're going to continue ahead, just like the blue car demonstrated right. there. Should I change? Yes, yeah. please. Is it clear for you on your right? Yeah. yeah she should have waited for us. Okay. Um, I should have gone onto the third gear on that big ridge, shouldn't I? Um, Cause the, the thing was. I, I know it was suggesting, third, but yeah. it was just it was just that cyclist in front. I didn't really True. want you to do it there. We're going to be using third gear a bit later today. Perfect. Okay, let's turn right into that road just there. Good. Well done. Now position next to centre and go all the way forward. She's not quite close enough just yet. Well done. Yep. Good. Really nice turn in. I want you to turn left just in here. Okay, looking at the floor marking, can you see it? Yeah. What do we do here? I'm in the middle, aren't I? You're in a good position, yeah. Now slowly creep forward using reflections if you need and slower with your feet. Good. Good. Make sure when you're sort of scanning, mm -hmm. it's the road on the right, the road ahead, and towards the left. Sure. Any questions so far? No. Happy with it? Yeah. I want you to take the next road on your right, it's just after that red car, the second red car. There's so many red cars now. That one, yeah. Yeah, that one there. Good the post boxes. Okay, so looking at the entrance, it's pretty big. Yeah. Yeah. I can keep. Yeah, but you don't want to cut the corner. Ta -ta. Ooh, we cut Is the that cutting the corner? What do you think? I don't really understand cutting the corner, I can't okay. lie. <laughs> So if you turn into the first half of the road, yeah. first like for yeah, example, so you come out more then, yeah, yeah. So like this road, for example, you would go yeah, forward and then sure. steer. So you started steering a bit. Is early. that illegal? Um, well, it's not a good idea because then if someone happens to be there, you're right in their path, aren't you? Yeah. This we're is gonna go thing, right from right? here. Yeah, yeah, this is the one. So we're gonna go right from here. Go. So we go around the park car. Now brake clutch. Go up into that corner. Now that's tricky. Stop here for a second. 
Amazon is in a really bad position, but it's a good thing you can kind of see behind. I don't know. Yeah, that's right. Should I move forward or back? No, that's right. Okay, now really slow because there is a big section behind missing. So keep looking both ways, but looking and listening slower than this. Look left, look left in here, in here now. You don't want to keep looking behind him, you want to try and look ahead of him as well this way. Right. That's good though. Well done. Yeah, sometimes these delivery vans just park on like double yellow lines on junctions. It's just awful. Alright, what should we do with that guy ahead? Stop that. Oh, okay, he flashed his lights though. Right, yeah, <laughs> okay, we'll get up there. Now he is slightly and sticking this out. One on the left. No, 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 he, he wants you to go no, through the middle. Right, Stay yeah. in the middle. Just take it a bit slower, but continue straight, okay? Well done. Well done. Well done. That's Good. your woman, I think. I didn't look. I, I was just sorry. Four of us to assume. Made this made assumption yeah. there. We're gonna go left here. Good. Now think about what you know what you want to do here. Okay, now. This bus is moving. Wait, look carefully. Good. Good, but take it slightly later just so that we don't go on that pavement. Yeah. Good, well done. Nice. Any concerns so far? No? Good. I don't think so. We're going straight, yeah? Yeah, straight for now. Listen to what the do engine. I do Listen here, to the engine. Listen. You can hear when you need a gear change. Yeah. It starts to judder a little bit. Is that, is that what you were about to ask me? Yeah, well, it's kind of like, do I just brake or do I brake clutch? And well, if we're just slowing down, brake, but you can see the bus wasn't moving, yeah. so it's brake clutch. So if you go within two car lengths of the bus, get that clutch in. Okay, feet ready. Just, what we'll do here is we're going to make a right turn, actually. So use your mirrors, position next to the center line, go closer, go all the way. Now we'll have to wait in the middle, okay? Yeah. Now the lights have just changed, keep going, you can't stop. So we're going to turn after the range, just look right, turn straight in. Now even the guy behind us has come through there, so we couldn't really stop, okay? Sure. Now we're going to pull in after the junction, so think about the t signal timing. Go, go a bit quicker. <laughs> signal now. Check that left mirror for that cyclist. Yeah, he's not going to try and get around. You go all the way forward. Now he's a bit further, so we're okay. Keep going. Brilliant. A bit right if you can. That's great there, thank you. Secure. Brilliant. And... What's the first thing? Thank you, and good. All right. How are you feeling on these smaller junctions? Yeah, fine. There's actually. You. you actually did them really well. There's not, not really a lot going on where I had to. To be fair, we were quite lucky that they were quite. Like, they, they weren't that busy. Yeah, no, they weren't too busy. But you've got to make sure when you can't see, you sort of come out carefully as if someone's already there, but you just can't see them. So you've got to yeah. keep cautiously coming out, keep looking. Okay? Sure. Alright, so that's the end of that section of today's drive. So next time we're going to be working on um, pedestrian crossings and hazards, which we're going to start later. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed that video and learnt a little bit about how to deal with small crossroads, why it's important to peep and creep as opposed to just moving straight through, and how to control your speed at small junctions. Thank you!